Unbelievable story, Alf. So, of course, we all watch the Olympics. We all got excited. The USA pulls it out. Steph Curry pulls it out. LeBron does nothing per usual. Steph does his thing. The U.S. wins gold. And Topps reacts with the first triple auto for LeBron, for Curry, for Durant. It's all on card. It's a one of one. I'm so pumped up and I'm thinking to myself, how can I make a splash? How can I do something special? Uh. So I talked to my wife and we came up with a plan and I reached out to Jeff Wilson. I said, hey, I know this is going to sound crazy. I know David Adams does all these bounties, but I'm going to offer $99,000 bounty. You take the card and put it in the sleeve for whoever finds that card. You know, we talk for about half an hour over the phone. He's telling me how great of an idea it is. And I'm pumped, man. And I'm also thinking, my God, $99,000. I got to scrape all this money together. And then just a few hours later, I see this. I want this card and I'm willing to pay for it big time. If you get this card, I will pay you $100,000 in cash for it. And I will give you a special Cards HQ VIP experience. Just unbelievable. So after I broke pretty much all the dishes in the house, I was balled up in a corner screaming and crying. This sucks. For hours, hours on end, I gathered myself and I'm here to make this video. <laughs> What's going on, sports card hobby family? We are back again. Tops has filed a lawsuit that we have got to talk about. But before we dive in, we've got our Tuesday shout outs. You've got a collection. You're like, what the heck do I do with it? How do I sell it? Justcollect.com. They've got an appraisal form there. It makes it really easy to go and just figure out what do I have. Vintage card specialists, of course, modern cards as well, but especially Leighton Sheldon with the vintage sports cards. He can help you out. So reach out to them at justcollect.com. Card capsule. You want supplies, you don't want to spend a fortune on them, and you feel like you deserve 10% off. Card capsule sports card dad code. New cases, semi rigids, top loaders, all the goodness. Check out Card Capsule. You're on Whatnot and you're like, what do I do here? All these weirdos on Whatnot? Wooten Sports Cards. Go over to Wooten Sports Cards. The singles machine over there sells out just about every week. 12,000, I think he's got 13,000 followers at this point. Five-star reviews. Check out Wooten Sports Cards on Whatnot. All right, as we said, Jeff Wilson comes out and offers a $100,000, trumped my $99,000 bounty. I was just about to announce... I had all the local media, national media calling me, 99,000, are you sure? Wow, this is amazing. And then Jeff came out, offered a $100,000 bounty for that triple auto. I've seen a lot of reaction to that as basically saying like, not enough, more money type thing. But it's kind of weird. You know, it's kind of weird because I know like, David Adams will throw out a bounty of like $250,000 and then you wonder, if that card was run at auction, would it get 250? Probably not. Like pretty much every single card I've seen where they're offering a huge bounty, Tom Brady Expos card or whatever, auto, you're thinking to yourself, man, that's a hell of a lot of money. I'm definitely taking the bounty. So maybe Jeff's just trying to be semi-conservative, but it's still a hundred grand. It's still a hundred thousand dollars. So let me know in the comments below, is a hundred thousand dollars not enough for that card? Did you react that it was too low just because it was Jeff Wilson? If it was David Adams, would you say, oh, take the money, take the money. But because it's Jeff, you're like, oh no, Jeff, you need to pay more. Let me know your thoughts in the comments on that. All right, Tops files a lawsuit. This was interesting because this is adding on to a story from last year. I'd actually forgotten about it. Sports Collectors Daily reports that a Texas man named Timothy Dodd was caught selling, and I think that we remember this, on eBay going back from December 2022 to I believe it was December 2023, there was duplicates of Superfractors for baseball cards that were popping up. 2023 product, one of one super fractors, but it was like, wait, there's two of these? What's the deal here? And there was an eBay account, DFW Card Shark, which I think people were speculating Dallas Fort Worth Card Shark, just putting stuff together, big brains over here. And again, in Texas, what the hell's going on with Texas? Why is all this weird stuff happening in Texas? Anyway, this guy was essentially selling backdoor copies of these of these cards. They were accidentally printed one of one on the back of the card instead of on the front of the card. So the dupes that were on eBay, it was his like duplicate because it was the error card essentially that had made it out. $107,000 in sales on those puppies. 
And of course, Tops is basically treating this as stolen property. Like you didn't have any rights to it. You weren't given it. You know, you didn't buy it. You just have it. And then you're selling it for profit. So Tops wants some action against the alleged, against Timothy Dodd. It is alleged. All this is allegedly, of course, because it's still actively all happening. So it's all alleged. But as a large number of backdoor cards, it made me actually think back to the 80s with all of the error cards. Remember when people would just pay up for, oh, this is an error card, the, you know, the no-name Frank Thomas card, all these different error cards? I wonder how many of these error cards actually just made it into packs as error cards or how many of them were backdoor because the only way that you would really figure this out is through the internet. It's because he was selling them allegedly on eBay and that's how you even know about it in the first place. Back in 1988, if someone has some backdoor card, he was just going to a card shop. I mean, it, there was no trail of this thing. You didn't know if it came out of a pack. You didn't know if it was if it came directly from the factory. So the 80s was the real Wild West for all of this error card, backdoor card type stuff. So yeah, just very interesting. And I think something just to be careful of with brand new product that comes out. I mean, those cards essentially were identical to the Super Fractor, except the one of one was on the back instead of being on the front. If it's a new product, you don't know how the card's supposed to look. I mean, I think it's pretty easy to make that sort of a mistake. Okay, well, I guess it's printed on the back. I probably would have been none the wiser if I was looking at something like that. So, guys, be careful out there with all the new product coming out. I know we've been talking about how expensive it is, but also there's potential for backdoor copies coming out into the market. That's, a, I think, a fairly isolated incident. I don't think that happens all the time. Tops and Panini, actually, I think they said in the article, it's GC, some big factory that handles that stuff for both Panini and for Tops. As far as the article reads here, there's one location where all the kind of the, the backdoor type stuff goes. It's held in a secure area. Somehow, this person allegedly got access to the secured area. But, you know, we've talked about this with all the money flying around. I don't know how much these people make that work in these locations. Maybe that guy was tipped off by somebody. Who knows? I mean, there's so many different ways this can happen, but there's so much money in cardboard that I'm sure word gets around. Hey, that building over there has got expensive cardboard in it. Anyway, what can we do? Stay healthy, stay awesome, and I will talk to you again later.